lots of laughs and all that neat old stuff. And now here he is, the host with the most, Christian Taylor. <sighs> Good evening, friends, and welcome to the Christian Chandler Show. I am your host, Christian Chandler. Now tonight we are going to talk about poetry and a line and a behind the scenes of the part of the lines, which got me inspired. And I'm going to express my feelings a little bit, so please don't laugh. I feel I'll feel embarrassed. Okay. Anyway, my poem is called entitled "The Song of Christian." And I just did it last night on May 14th, 1998. Anyway, uh, I'm going to do my poem now. So, here goes. I hear America singing as I sing of myself, and you experience as I experience. The problems of yourself are my problems. The youth of the young singing cries of happiness. The children's song is song of laughter. At age six weeks, I sang this song of laughter. Then at one and a half years of age, the Lord clicked the mute button on me. That was my parents' song. They pulled me through the talk again at age seven. I now, 16 years old, and I'm going to talk about to hope to achieve new goals and Mario Raceway Records and to finish my homemade Nintendo Power magazine. The magazine songs, the ballad of Sonic the Hedgehog on Game Boy. The rudeness of the teenager's song, the despicable mention of rude words, and D-R-U-G-S. I'm not afraid to speak, despise the hazardous flukes in, in America's song. My song that I sing, although I talk well, my peer relationship is low and my loneliness is off the scale. Anyway, that's my poem. Now we're going to go behind the lines and see how it all got inspired. Now the uh, first line I hear America singing and uh, singing myself, I got those from the combination of the first line of both song of myself and I hear America singing. And the experiencing and problems page, I made those up myself. And of course, you know, the uh, youth, I'm talking about the young children here, they start singing their cries of happiness when they are born with their little giggles and tee hee hees. That's just the sound of laughter. At eight, six weeks, I started the sound of laughter, which is my, I started talking. Now my first word was monkey and here's how it happened. My mother and I went down to a Best Broad store in Charlottesville many, many years ago. Of course, you know, at age six weeks, I was born in 1982. <laughs> anyway, uh, mother was carrying me in her arms and she was shopping. But then all of a sudden I said, monkey. Uh, there, was a there was no woman nearby. And uh, she so she heard me and uh, she came over, asked my mom, was that your son? And my mom said, yeah, that was my son. And she didn't say anything, she was just shocked. And anyway, I uh, went on and on with my mouth. That is until the uh, age one and a half years. <sighs> the sad thing that happened, the Lord quit the mute button on me. Click, click. That's what my, I'm representing my autism there. The Lord clicking the mute button. Anyway, here's how my autism began. I'm going to be very truthful here. Uh, I had a babysitter, but uh, she's kind of a mean babysitter. Anyway, uh, one day she was on the phone. And uh, I, came up, I came up to her. I came over to her and... Uh, said something and uh, she was kind of angry at me because I interrupted her phone call. Then she locked me in a room full of nothing, full of nothing but toys and uh, she just locked me in there. And uh, I was very lonely so I just sat there and cried and well yeah, that's how my autism began thanks to an evil babysitter. And then thanks to my parents Actually, my mom did most of the work, but uh, it was thanks to my parents. They got me talking again at age seven. Anyway, here's how they happened. 
My mother, my mother always took me down to the toy store uh, at least every weekend on to look to uh, look at the to uh, repackages uh, like say for example GoBots. You remember those old go fashioned GoBot toys? Well, anyway, with Barbie always read the packages for me, and I read along with her. And uh, well, we just read the uh, top name of the name of the toy and the uh, name of the and the name of the uh, character that it represents, and then they go to flip side and see all the other characters, the other toys in the collection. And of course, we do the same for for the old-fashioned Transformers. Yes. And also, wait, mother and I, I want, and also uh, sometimes mother and I uh, buy some Lego sets to build them together. Uh, like for example. Oh yeah. Well, like for example, this old uh, bicycle pitch shop here. Uh, you can tell this is an old-fashioned Lego set on the counter. This is the old-fashioned Lego land on the corner. Anyway, uh, we always built something like this, but uh, and some and one time we even built a nice race track. I have had some in my Lego town, but uh, I named my camera there, but I don't think we ever do have any. Oh well. Excuse me. Anyway, mother and I always have fun together. But then at age five, age seven, my mouth blabbed. I started blabbing my mouth again. Turn that collar. And then, uh, the, uh, I opened and changed new records on Mario Raceway. You know I like to play video games. I mean, I have the Tail 64 video games, the Super Nintendo games, Jesses. Old Fashioned Nintendo, Game Boy, Game Year, Sega CD, 32X, and I also got lots of Tiger Brand LCD games. And anyway, I was a video game person, my favorite type of game were racing. So, um, one of my favorite Nintendo 64 games were, was Mario Kart 64. I, I was always trying to beat my ghost on the Mario Raceway and Time Trails mode. My best, time, my best record in Mario Raceway is as Mario. A minute, 21 and 89 seconds. I mean, excuse me, I mean, a minute, 21, 89. Yeah, that's it. Anyway, I always like to beat my records. But then the homemade Nintendo Power Magazine, that's the uh, magazine you heard that was lost. Here, let me show you. Here it is, my homemade Nintendo Power Magazine. Actually, that's just a cover. I'm uh, working on it on the insides, like a regular Nintendo Power Magazine. When I'm done, it should have 108 pages according to the front cover and the back cover. I write now only on the uh, page 35. I'll show you uh, the pages that are inside it. We have your uh, your uh, title of contents with the mentioning of uh, the main article. Table of contents there. <sighs> then we have the letter section. Now you see the uh, the two envelopes on this page. I actually created them on other envelope on two envelopes myself. I just kind of copied them from the envelopes onto here. And on this page, the three envelopes I just kind of made up myself. That's uh, Cruising USA, Zelda, and Yoshi Story. And then we have the uh, power charts, which is the top 10 Nintendo 64 and Super Nintendo games and the top 5 Game Boy games. Of course, the most wanted. And some more layers. And I just made up an article about somebody winning the Zelda contest. You know, test the Zelda 64 game that's going to come out later. Way later. I bet we don't even know. We're not exactly sure when it's going to come out. Oh, darn this thing is slipping on me. Anyway, you know, I had this uh, dream a long time ago about Sonic on Game Boy. So that's why I based my magazine on. Of course, you can tell by the covers, such as from Sega to Nintendo. So I started off by making my own Nintendo 64 game, Sonic 64. 
It's not cool picture of what? Alright, well, yeah. You got your castle there and, uh, Sonic of Sales. Excuse me, psych. 